Mm -hmm. Hey Beth, you're not ready. No, eh? no, 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 give me time. We're gonna, we're gonna cook today. Eh? Yeah. Oh, sorry. April Fool. This is April. Oh. Welcome to Simba's <laughs> Living in Paradise. See, I tore like, off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused already again. Okay, uh, so April, we got the uh, hey, yeah, Marimana, right? Yes, April. Easter. Easter. Yeah. And April Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah. I catch her. Eh? <laughs> yes, that's the main thing. She was like, Who oh, there? What are you here? What are you here? Yeah. We cook it today. I know. See what he does? He just dropped her. Okay, okay. So, when all you see now, they have to is stay healthy, stay safe, right? Yes, eh? happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah. Hey, wow. It's going to be an amazing show, but you know, make sure when you go to KTA, you buy Nori's products. Yay! At KTA. At KTA. Right. Here we got <laughs> What do you guys, we got here? Yeah, some noodles and you know, some chapche and some sushi. Sushi, yeah. That's good seller. Everybody Look like that. Look at this. Eh? Little eh? of everything, yeah. Okay. I love it. Go KTA and buy Nori's products. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you. Okay, big shaka, big shaka. Right. Okay. okay. Missy Yamada organized John Komeji, Kurt Osaki, Milton Fuji, and myself to help Bring back the spirits of the people living at Rikuzen Takata, the most devastated area in Japan due to the tsunami. On one of our trips, a ukulele was donated by Alvin Okami to give to someone at the village. There we found a perfect person who played ukulele every day as a youngster but lost it in the tsunami. He entertained everyone in the village. He and all the villagers were so happy that he got the ukulele. So Mr. Yamada came all the way from Japan looking for Mr. Okami and he wanted to thank him. So he went to Koaloa Ukulele. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. uh, you know, I was on Rikuzen Takata and I was there when, you know, you, you gave away a ukulele and, you know, I remember, you know, the first time ukulele, I mean, he was like, oh, only tears because he lost his, he played ukulele his whole life and he lost it through the tsunami. Oh, then, but now, I heard the song here. Oh man, I tell you, it's very emotional for me because oh, wow. I, 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 I think it lifts everybody's heart because you know what, huh? you know, it's an encouraging song when you're down or you're, you got so much things on your mind, you listen to that and it will calm you down and it's going to make you make things happen. Oh, so, awesome. You know, I think you're going to change the world with that song. So thank you oh, very much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Give me no. a hug. <laughs> If you try, when you are down, ready to quit, nothing makes sense, cause nothing will fit, I understand, cause I have been there, I know that place, the place called despair, don't give up, don't give in, yes you win, this is why. I know you can do it if you try. Alvin Okami autographed Mr. Yamada's song sheet and also gave him an autograph CD. Now that you know what you must do, you're not alone. Just follow the truth and don't be afraid because you've come so far. Look straight ahead. Excited! I'm at Kolo Ukulele, and you know the man over here, man, <laughs> Alvin Okami. Hey, oh. he he can do everything. He can sing, can play the ukulele, he can make the ukulele, he do everything. 
So Elvin, yes. you know, all over Hawaii, we know who you are. Oh, wow. and, and, and finally, people in Hilo get to see you, oh, right? Wow, wow. Huh? So, so, you know your song, Yeah. how did it come about? Oh, wow. I, uh, actually, I wrote that song uh, 2011. Yeah. Uh, for a children's story I was oh. I wrote. Oh. But what happened was uh, that was the day that uh, uh, the Japan tsunami and the oh, earthquake. Yes. So I changed my mind and then uh, because the song is an encouraging song, you know, it encourages people who are, who are down, you know. So uh, what ended up was uh, I forgot about the children's story and this song Nandemo Dekiru, you can do it if you try, uh, was picked up by uh, J-Wave Radio right. and they played it and all over Japan people were calling into the radio station wanting to buy the CD or uh, uh, other people were saying that uh, they can't get the song out of their mind, you know? Mm. So I said, wow, that's awesome. So I have the confidence that um, many people heard the song, they were encouraged, you know? So uh, that, that was my purpose, to try and encourage people. Yeah. So, when did you start this ukulele co company? Oh man, actually, um, the idea to make ukulele wasn't my idea. My idea, I, I made not this size, but I made this small size. I saw the small ukulele yeah, in the yeah, 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 I know, yeah. I saw, no, I saw, I, I no, take pictures. You yeah, 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 no, show me. No, I, I, go, I took picture. I'm yeah. sure. Okay, that small yeah, so, ukulele. Yeah. yeah, and that small ukulele is not only kazari mono, but I can play it. You can on that small ukulele? Yeah, I have a recording. I started to manufacture at home. Wow. And my wife, uh, she came home from work from the University of Hawaii and she would see me, uh, you know, making the small ukulele. Then she told me one day, Oh, Alvin, I know how much you love making the small ukulele, <laughs> but have you ever thought about making regular size? <laughs> and at that time, I was so focused, uh -huh. you know, on making that, uh -huh. that when she told me that, I was so rude, so terrible. And this is what I, I didn't even look at her. I was going like this. And I said in a real stern, terrible voice. I said, <laughs> this is what I told her. I'm not interested. <laughs> so she, oh, okay. So she walked away. One month later, she came back again. Alvin, I really think you should make the regular size. I told her, Trish, you told me about a month ago. I told you, I'm not interested. <laughs> so she said, okay. <laughs> One more month, two months passed by. The third time, she said, Alvin, I know how much you love making ukulele, but the reason why I think you should make the regular size is because there's a group called Ka'au Creative Boys with Troy Fernandez on them, before Jake Shimabukuro, ah, Troy ah. Fernandez, right? They, they have a group that they're bringing back the resurgence, popularity of uh, ukulele. Uh. So she said, I think you should make the regular size. Uh. It was because of my wife. Not once, not twice, three times she had to try and convince me. Yeah, so my wife is the founder of the regular size ukulele. <laughs> you see all of you out there, listen to your wife. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Nanimo Dekiru, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> hey, I tell you, why didn't you think of that Nanimo Dekiru? Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. No, oh, that, that, yeah. That, that, no, that's right. You see? That's why she doesn't want the credit. She doesn't want anything. But the <laughs> truth is, she was the one that, after three times, I finally listened. You know? Yep. And then because I made the small ukulele, I knew already how to make 
you know, the bigger one, right? I just, I just expanded yeah. the processes, yeah? So that's why my wife, uh, I tell you, she, without her, I still will be making the small <laughs> movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, then, no, and, and I would be blind yeah, yeah, because it's yeah, so yeah. small. Yeah. You know, I, I, I couldn't have magnifying glasses, you know that kind. That's why it's really. But that's the, that's the true story. You see, Is all that, of you out there, yeah. listen to your wife. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just, I'm just here. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so very much, oh, Alvin. Thank you know, you, you, you know, stay next to you. I, I'm all, all thrilled over here. You know, oh, man, the, thank you. The, you. The man, you know, you, you are the man. So thank oh, you so man. much. Oh, thank, thank you. So it's my, my pleasure. No, I tell you, man. Yeah. Thanks I, for writing that song and thanks for bringing back ukulele and making koalo oh, ukulele. And I mean, oh, you, you're man. helping everybody, even helping the wood industry and everything else. Oh, you buy man. all your coal from Kona. Yeah. <laughs> we all appreciate it. Oh, Yamada-san, yeah, he's a nice man. He the one brought us down to Rikuzen in Takara and, and oh, gave us the opportunity to, to meet all the Bachangs and the Jichangs and everything else. Wow. And you know, the values that they had over there, I mean, it just made me so a better person, you oh, know. So awesome. I, I really appreciate what he did for me. Too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I like to talk to your son, Alan. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Hey, Alan, come on. Hey, I get the man here, Alan. This guy is so unbelievable. You know, he he's, he built this shop and he has to help the dead. I mean, this shop here is turning into a tourist tourist attraction, right? You got tours and everything else over here going now. So we, we resumed our daily tours uh, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, they're free to the public. Kind of like, like you know, like checkers and pogo. Yeah. When you go to popsicle fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said we don't make popsicle. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I was kind of amazed, guys. Even though it took that much details and so much science and everything else to make a ukulele, and you know, you guys do it by hand. You get some, you have some with machine, and you know, I mean, it's like perfection, right? Um, close to perfection is hard. Okay, <laughs> but we we like to think we come a little bit close. Okay, and I think the main thing is like we even recommend other brands. Because we might not make you happy. <laughs> the, the thing is, if you pick them up and you feel happy, then come close to perfection. But I'm going to tell you guys something. You know, you know, Alan and his dad, Alvin, and he's not about a ukulele, but he's about their heart. I mean, you know, a heart and soul goes into the product, and that's why the thing is like unbelievable. Cool, low ukulele is an unbelievable product. I mean, if people play that. Oh, yeah, so you sell it, you sell it all over Hawaii, right? Huh? Yes. Huh? Yeah. You can We're find it in to. Hawaii. You, you go you, online. They can buy them online. Uh, you can go online. We we don't really sell online, but our dealers do. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, ho actually, hopefully you cannot find them all over. But then that means we win them more work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so you know 
I, I, I just want to say thank you very much. And you know, you, you buy your wood, your core wood from, from Kona, right? We actually go up and help in the milling process. Wow. So we've been See, doing that for about a year. All the way from the wood, you know, yeah. right? From the from 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 nothing. You you yeah. make the help milling. Oh it's unreal. Hopefully yeah. hopefully we can do like advocacy on the, the core wood industry too. So. Okay. <laughs> but hey, any last word? Oh no, thank you everybody for watching. It's always fun to get together with this guy, my friend. He don't let me call him mentor, but I do. <laughs> nah. Behind his back. <laughs> and, and you know, Alan, he married a healer girl. Yes, I did. Unbelievable. Okay, big shot. Come on. Yes, sir. Hotel. People are big on you should come here. Yes, definitely come here. You can go to the zoo, you can go to the aquarium, you oh, can yeah. go to the beach, oh, everything right there, right? Okay. okay. Yes. Big shaka, big okay. shaka. Come oh, on, Borio. Okay. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm at Queen Capilani Hotel in Waikiki. I haven't been here in a long time. And I see this beautiful lady, Kim. You know, Kim, you're the director of Pan Office. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you, you know, I'm so amazed with the hotel. Everywhere I go, everybody's so friendly. Employees are happy. I mean, I feel so glad much at law over here. Yeah, right? I'm so glad to hear that. We, we come here to the hotel, we yeah. get greeted by you, oh. right? Huh? Big shaka. Oh, big shaka. Okay, that's the one. <laughs> I mean, you love the hotel, I mean, you love the place. Yeah, love it, love it here so much. Came back to, to every time we come to Waikiki, we see if Kavai is working because we named our son after him. So. Nah, after yeah. him. He's oh, the awesome, back, awesome, awesome. This guy right here should run for mayor. Right? Wow, awesome. So tell, there's a lot of aloha here, right? Yeah. Great place. Great yeah, place. Great place. Okay, awesome. Big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. And the rooms is so clean and you know your housekeeping they, they do such an amazing, amazing job. Uh -huh. And I haven't been here for a while, yeah. And and the hotel is really I mean it really looks good. Right? Thank you. Thank you. So so Kim, tell me about it. The Queen Papiolani, um, well I started here five years ago, mm -hmm. in 2018. That's when we completed our renovation. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a great restaurant, the deck on the third floor. Mm -hmm. um, lots of people like to come for happy hour, or drinks, um, things like that. Uh, open breakfast, lunch and dinner. We have Knott's Coffee Shop in our lobby. Um, a lot of people like to visit as well, as well as Aloha Whip. If you like Dough Whip, um, that's one of our uh, hot items here. Um, our hotel has 315 rooms, um, 36 suites. So we are located right across the Honolulu Zoo in Waikiki. So it's a good location. Um, and you know, the good thing about this, right? You know, it's like, it's a, it's a kind of peaceful Waikiki. It's right by the hand, but you, yet you, you have the flavor of Waikiki. You can just right. walk it. Right. It's, it's just a couple of steps away, right? Uh -huh. Yep. You're and kind then, of away from all the craziness in the middle yeah. of Waikiki. So you're at the end yeah. of Waikiki, yeah. but still conveniently located near the beach and everything. Yeah. And then, you know, there's Waikiki Beach. There's a zoo right across here, yes. right? Uh-huh. There's an aquarium. Aquarium is just a little ways off. I know. You got you got everything going. There's a, there's a beautiful park, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Park, park is across park. the street. Oh, so, so very conveniently located. Right there. Uh-huh. 
But the thing that really amazes me is, uh -huh. is the amount of service, the service you have here. Thank you. Know, you. It's unbelievable and uh -huh. all the clean rooms and everything else. Hey, guess what, man? Awesome, awesome valley service, eh? Huh? 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 Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing today? Okay, man. Come on, big shaka, big shaka again. Yes, sir. Hey, who's your manager? Our manager is Jock, Jock Wu. He's a oh, great guy. Oh, he's from Big Island. <laughs> you probably know him. Yeah, he's from yep. Big Island. He's, a, he's definitely from, from Big Island. Florida, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, he lived on the Big Island for a good amount of years. Yeah, and he's a he's a super nice guy. Very right? nice guy. Yeah. 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 So you know, you all you in Big Island. I mean, you got no job. I mean, you just say, "Hey, job." I'm, I'm from Hawaii Island. Hey, okay. Yeah. Man. I feel like he's the mayor there. He knows everybody. Yeah, he knows everybody. <laughs> he knows everybody. Yeah. You know, he's so giving, and he's he's uh -huh. been really, really nice to our island. We all miss him. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Hey, hey here's the job that we're talking about. <laughs> it. <laughs> you tell me about the Hawaii Island. Hello, everyone. Okay. Please come and visit us. Queen Kapiolani Hotel. Awesome! <laughs> hey, big whip, general manager here. Hey, we're all proud of your job. We're Thank all you. proud of you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Aloha. <laughs> hey, so so Kim, uh -huh. what about groups like that? You know, um, conventions, everything. I mean, you guys are open to that. We do. Yeah, we actually have a nice banquet room located on our third floor, facing beautiful Diamond Head. So a lot of groups come here, student groups, all kind, all types of groups. So, what so we about, can definitely accommodate. What about weddings and stuff like that? Weddings as well, yes. If you yeah. want the beautiful backdrop of Diamond Head, this is the perfect location. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so we have a swimming pool on the third floor. We have a 24-hour um, open gym. Um, really nice equipment in there. Everyone loves it that stays here. Um, and you all kind of activities. I see you got big activities. Yes, activities. So we offer hula lessons, wow. meat making, and yoga lessons. Wow. All complimentary. So if you're a guest here, you get to do those things for free. Wow. And I came here, and the first thing I had an aloe made drink. Yes, you, well, get a, you get a juice upon arrival. Well, Don't forget the lei. Did you get the lei? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kukui nut lei or mango shell lei. Wow. You know, you know, you guys all should come on down to Queen Kapilani Hotel. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's an unbelievable location, especially during summertime, right? You know, bring your family, bring your kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get the whole Honolulu experience, right? For sure, yeah. Right? Very family friendly. Very yeah. friendly, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> hey, any last words? Come on. No, thank you so much for having me. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you Hope know. Hope to see you again. Okay. Hey, <laughs> the big shaka, make the big shaka, Kim. Okay, thank awesome. You. Hey, 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 Kim. You got a friend on Big Island. What do you wanna what do we tell you about on the Big Island? Hi Christy. If you're watching this. <laughs> hey, who else you wanna tell hello to? Everybody else? Everybody on Big Island. Okay, I'm big on Big Island. Okay, big shaka. <laughs> this year, Highly Church celebrates their two hundredth anniversary of ministry. There are so many things happening at the church. There was a flower workshop held by Scott Lisa and his mother, Kule Hughes Okada. It was an amazing time. And as you can see, the participant made some amazing, beautiful flower bouquets. Then there was a Lohana class done by the talented Gary Akimsu. They made a really amazing Lao Hala bowl. Then with choir director Lindell Lindsay, accommodated by pianist Michael Springer, had an amazing Easter and Christmas cantatas. Tatas was held in March. Refreshment was served and it was also open to the public. The highly Christian choir is one of the two oldest and most widely acclaimed Hawaiian church choirs. Since the beginning of the 1900s, it has been the training school for some of Hawaii's foremost names in traditional Hawaiian music, both sacred and secular. The choir began in 1902 under Harry K. Naope Sr. at the Kalipolipo Chapel, one of the seven branches of the Haile Church. Naope was a music teacher in the public schools and received his training in music at the Lahaina Luna Seminary on the island of Maui. Hawaiian music are embedded in the history of the Highland Church Choir. 
it has exerted a major influence on the development of Hawaiian music in the Hilo area. Attention everyone, there will be an organ recital on April 20th where the choir will also perform. The Haile Church Choir is looking for choral music singers to join the group at the pipe organ rededication service to be held on Sunday, April 21st at 3 o'clock p.m. The choir will present three favorite Hawaiian choral anthems as part of the service. If you're interested, please call the Haile Church. Feel free to share this post with all your friends and contacts. Also, this is Haile Congregational Church 200th anniversary celebration that's going to be happening on May 19 at 9.30 a.m. They invite all of you to come commemorate their rich history and they look forward to a great future filled with continued blessings and service. They hope to see you there. Aloha. Attention ladies and gentlemen, it's time to mark your calendars for the Grand Hilo FCE Fair. With great excitement, we announce that the Hilo Association for Family and Community Education is hosting their much-anticipated fair at the distinguished J.C. Butler Building, right next to the renowned Civic Auditorium. Set your alarms, for we invite you to join us on the delightful morning of Saturday, May 4th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. A morning filled with fun, excitement, and countless activities awaits you. We are proud to feature an array of meticulously handcrafted items such as charming kitchen sets, creative greeting cards, attractive magnets, cozy lap blankets, and elegant scarves. Our fair promises an opportunity to witness and purchase unique creations you won't find anywhere else. But the excitement does not end here. You won't want to miss out on our selection of delectable food and freshly baked goods, including mouthwatering pies, delicious shortbread, sweet manju, tangy li hing gummies, and much more. Adding to these great offerings, we have a dedicated health and wellness booth. Also, a professional KTA pharmacist will be on site administering COVID and flu vaccines. For all the nature enthusiasts out there, we will also have a variety of plants to add to your collection. And for those feeling creative, join the fun at our Make It and Take It table. Lastly, our fair is the perfect shopping destination for the upcoming occasions, Boys' Day, Mother's Day, and graduation. So come, shop, and celebrate with us. We look forward to seeing you there. Hey, that's my beautiful manang. She can cook the most unbelievable Filipino food. But who's the fancy chef? The man in the pan. Okay, big shot the man in the pan. Awesome. From 1906 to 1946, over 100,000 Filipinos were recruited to work in the sugar plantation. They were known as the Sakatas. The Sakatas worked really hard, but they are very resourceful in ways of living. They planted their own food, fishing, and working extra jobs, and they were still sending money back to Philippines to support their families there. Today, there's many generations of Filipinos living here in Hawaii. I thank them for their amazing values and their customs. Many are leaders and everyone works so hard to make Hawaii this special place. They have many traditions and they have amazing, great tasting food. So in April, is proclaimed as Filipino Food Month. So I want to show you some of the amazing Filipino food recipes that I prepared on the man in the pan, which is on KTA Instagram. So I'll show you how to cook one of my favorite Filipino dish, pinat bit. Welcome to the man and the pan. Today I'm gonna to do something really exciting, one of my favorite Filipino dishes. It is pinat bit. Okay, first of all, I turn on the fire, okay? Put the oil in the pan, okay? Okay, while the pan is sealing up, I grab some garlic, I throw them in the oil and I chop in some chopped bark. Okay? I use the pork shoulder over here. Now, this is about a half a pound right there. Okay? And I dump the pork shoulder right in. Stir fry it all around. 
Good thing about peanut bed, you can use all kind of stuff that you have in the refrigerator. So I have this whole variety of products there. Uh, I looked in my, my reefer and I could find all these things. So here, okay, once the farm is almost done, you throw in some brown onion, sliced brown onion, just like this, okay? To get some flavor, little squash ginger. I wish I had that oton beans, right? I got the string beans, okay, dump it in. I had some eggplant, right? Put in some eggplant. You see how easy? I like I chop in the vegetables while I'm cooking. Everything going just like this, okay? Inside here, you put in some okra. Now you cannot find the um, fresh okra. You always can use uh, frozen okra, okay? Everybody loves the okra. Okay, there you go, you stir them all up. Oh, you put in tomato. I'm in some tomato. And you know, this is said to be real healthy because there's a lot of vegetables in there. So everything around, and they get dashi, maybe about three quarter cup of dashi. Okay? Then I grab some oyster sauce. Dump in about maybe two tablespoons, then put in about a tablespoon of soy sauce. And in the Filipino dish, you need the patis. I got the patis right over here. Put about three tablespoons of patis. Then you put it on the fire and you let it go. You don't have a pan towel. All what you do is put on the ground floor. Just like this. Okay, I think it's just about done. You know, when the vegetables are just right cooked. So, there you go. Look at that. There you go. Do not fit. Look at that. If I can look good, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. It's so good. In Philippines, it's a naimas. <laughs> Next is everyone's favorite, bok adobo. Welcome to the man and the pan. Today, I'm gonna make something that's super exciting. I'm gonna make bok adobo. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get either pork or chicken. Uh, about three to four pounds. So I got some belly pork over here. Cut them into pieces just like this. And also I have some shoulder pork rolls. So yeah, all of these makes about three pounds, okay? So then I'll cut them all inside small pieces. And what I'm gonna do before I do anything is I'm gonna brown it inside a pan. In fact, I should dump them in the pan already, okay? <sighs> Slam them in the pan, just like that. You notice how I stroke my knife when I cut the pork? I'm gonna brown this, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. First you got about three or four cloves of garlic, tablespoon of salt. Hey, you know what? I got this kawaii salt for my friend Warren Hiruki. Then you about two tablespoon of patis. You add one cup of water. Then you add one half cup of cider vinegar. Okay, chop like this. Dump them in there. Then you cut about 12 peppercorn. Yeah, the whole peppercorn. Then you put in three bay leaf. See, I like to have potatoes inside my pork adobo, so I microwave and fry the potatoes. And when the potato gets brown, I'll brown the meat. I'm gonna brown these, fry these, throw the sauce in, and cook it for eh, about maybe 40, 40 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna add in the potato. Get the pan. And brown it. You can either brown it first or brown it after. The bagas, they're all brown, ready to go. Okay. So now I add in my sauce. You made all sauce in me? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cook them for a while until the thing comes off. Filipino friend told me what you got to put in is shiitake. It sounds like a good idea. Especially coming from my Filipino friends. All right, try dry up my shiitake. And I'm gonna slap on this side, yeah, okay? 
I go there, I'm all cooked together. Then all you got to get on top of it, you can put a frying pan over. Yeah, that's how I go cook on aluminum for 45 minutes now, and I think it's, oh yeah. The thing looks good. Let me fork it. Yeah, it's soft enough. Now I'm gonna throw in the potato. It's gonna thicken in the sauce, and it's gonna probably absorb a lot of the flavoring over here. So I just kind of let, let it sit for maybe about another five minutes. Oh, look at this here. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Bok adobo. Bok gonna look good. Let me see how it tastes. Woo! Mm. Oh! Oh, it's such a good taste. I want to thank all the Filipinos for bringing this beautiful dish here. I want to say, Mahat ko kayong lahat. It means I love you. And all. the easy to make pork and peas recipe. Come to the man and the pants. Today I'm gonna to do something really exciting, real fast for you. I'm gonna do one of the favorite Filipino dish, pork and peas. Put on the stove first, and in my hand I put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay? And while the thing is sitting up, I'm gonna first chop my pork. Okay, put a pork in the loin. You could use a pork shoulder, you could use everything. And about a three-quarter piece of pork. Notice how I use my knife, now I don't lift it up and just keep my knife really low so that I don't cut my fingers. Push this on the side. I get a couple of garlic, two cloves of garlic, and the garlic, I chop it into small pieces. Chop it all up, put it on the side. Then I get my onions, about half onion. Then I slice it up. Just about now, dump in my garlic, dump in my pork, just like that, and I kind of like stir it around. Okay, while well, the thing is cooking, you get about half red bell pepper. Okay? Slice this baby up. And again, you can use any kind of pork. You can use pork shoulder, you can use, you can use pork chop, you can use pork belly, you can use any stuff. So I'm going to add in my brown onions. Then I'll add in my bell pepper, okay? And then I'll mix it all up. Bell pepper, onions. Now you notice I use a metal spoon, but you know, don't use this to do regular pan. The man is a pan pan. It's so durable that I even use a regular spoon. But the thing is going here, I add in a can of tomato sauce. I add in a couple of bay leaf. And here you go. So I'll show you, local show you, sold exclusively at KTA. It's a Hilo, Hilo product, right? A tablespoon of that, okay? Amazing, it's, a, it's fish sauce called patis. And I love it so much, I'm going to dump a tablespoon of patis. Mix it all up, going to let it simmer for a while. And inside there, I put a, put a bottle of pimento, water and all, okay? And inside here, ah, I just put about a six to eight ounce of peas right inside here, okay? Before you let it go, you put in some water. Ah, just about a half cup. Okay, then you let it boil for a while. Okay, I think it's just about done. There you go. Let me scoop it all up in here. There you go, man. Pork and peas. Let's see how it tastes. Pork looks so old, no? There you go, man. So hot, it's so good. In Filipino, we call this naimas, like mm, naimas. So, for all of you out there, mahot ko kayong lahat. That means I love you all. There are many more Filipino recipes. Pancit, tinono, banana lumpia, kaskarong. By checking it out on the man and the pan on KTA Instagram. Dishes are delicious. In Filipino, we say, Naimas, salamat and mabuhay. Here you go, banana lumpia. Again, just spring rolls with two banana, quarter banana inside here, and um, some brown sugar and fry them. Oh, 
Det var godt nok godt, det ser jo ikke det. Det er godt. Man, it's so horrible. Feel a little bit of a Now it must. Okay, let me let me take this baby. Huh? What do you think? Tigo. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Alex. Oh. 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 My Oh. 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 Yeah. Here you go, eh? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Big Saka, come on. We'll see you next week on The Man in the Pan. Mabuhay and salamat. Mahako kayong lahat. Oh, naimas. Everyone, there is an ongoing position and workforce shortage. John A. Burns School of Medicine is holding Kuliki Kako Gala of fundraising to expand medical students and residency training in rural areas. All proceeds will benefit the University of Hawaii School of Medicine Rural Neighbor Island Medical Education Fund. The Kuliki Kalko Gala of Fundraising on April 13 from 5.30 to 9.30 at the Kahala Hotel and Resort. This year, entertainment by Hawaii's own Tumua Tuine, who's been selling out shows across the nation. This year's event will also honor President David Lesnar, UH 10 Campus System 15 President who for his commitment in helping more residents gain skills in our state workforce. Please call Christy at 808-692-1222 to participate in various sponsorship opportunities or reserve a seat at the gala. Yay! Guess what? Co-chairing this amazing event is our Hilo's own graduate, Dr. Shane Morita, who is a general surgeon and a surgical oncologist at Queens Medical Center, and his wife, Dr. Jamie Tom, emergency physician at Polymomi Hospital. Please support this event by being there or any donations will be gracefully accepted. Aloha. Aloha. Just imagine if when we were thinking about tourism before, we designed tourism around our communities versus our communities around tourism. You know, Hawaii County in the last couple of years, we've been doing just that. We've been designing tourism around our communities, making sure that we're taking care and thinking of our communities first. You know, we've been looking at things like our sister city relationships with places like Japan and in other places. But I, I mentioned Japan because the Japanese, they love our culture. Do you know there's over 2 million hula dancers in Japan? And they don't only study hula, they study our culture. Imagine if we had a place for these tourists to come where they could learn hula during the week, during the day. Uh, learn other cultural values, the hollow weaving, or other things like that. And then at night, we use that same location for our kids to take martial arts, for uh, people to go take dancing lessons, or other kinds of things that people enjoy during the week. And then on the weekend, use that same location for baby luau's, or concerts, or other kinds of things that get our community together. There are places like the Japanese Cultural Center of Kona that are doing just that, building a place for people around the world to come, utilize it during the day, and at night and on the weekends, have it there 
for our local people to enjoy. Imagine what happens when those same visitors learn about our culture, our values, our way of life, and they take that aloha back home with them and spread that aloha throughout the world. The world would be so much better of a place. That's what we're trying to do here in Hawaii County. Aloha. Welcome to Behind the Camera. It is already April, and as they say, April showers bring May flowers. Hilo rain is one of the most precious resources we have on Hawaii Island. It keeps our air and streets clean, while it brings us this beautiful, lush, green environment that we have here in Hawaii. This month, as we gather to celebrate Easter, a time where families are able to get together and appreciate the most precious gift, the gift of family and friends. Working together, playing together, helping others as one family is what makes Hawaii so, so special. We're so fortunate to be living in this beautiful place, the island of Hawaii. For you and me. No front street for Mazalele Ivi. Una kia kaha, wai kia uka and pana eva. It's just another rainy day in Hilo. There's nothing for us to do in Hilo town. But watch TV, sleep, and cruise around. Only if it was like why Banalo. Waves and white sands where the Kamakani blows. Una, Kelpaha, Waikia Uka, and Mana Eva. It's just another rainy day in Hilo. Hilo wouldn't be the same without the rain. Our lifestyles would never be the same. This is the home for you and me. And also, April this year, I am so excited. We're able to celebrate the Merry Monarch Festival, a time Hawaii Islands able to showcase to the rest of the world how beautiful this place is. Everyone enjoying the hula, craft fairs, food, and parade. But please be careful and let show the world our Hawaii Island hospitality. Let us continue to work together and support all Mary Monarch activities. Many years, many sacrifices, lots of hard work were made, so we need to do our part on preserving it and making the Mary Monarch Festival even better. This event has been a special gift to all of us from Auntie Darty and Uncle George Naopi. And here's some selfie hey, messages. Thought, man, this girl here lived in Big Island. What, what were you doing at Big Island? Well, I worked at Hamilton Macadamia Nut Company, and now I'm here on Oahu at Seaward Community College. Oh, awesome. Hey, why don't we tell everybody, everybody in the Big Island, Big Shaka, give that Big Shaka. Hey, guess what, man? Hey, I got my man. friend over here, man. He got shopping. So, what? You watch us on TV? Oh, yeah. I watch you guys on TV. And, and I was telling you where the steak you want. Now it's 129, eh? Channel 129. Oh, channel 129. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I'll check it out. Okay, big checker, big checker. Have, have, have a good day. Uh, oh, yeah, awesome. All right, awesome. Hey, guess what? Two of the prettiest girls in Hilo. <laughs> what do you want to tell everyone out there? Give the shaka. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, you know one senior, you too young. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? 
Jo! Jūs tas saka, pas viņas ir āsām! Hey, they're not seniors, but I think they're children of seniors, but yeah, they look too young over here. Is there anything you want to say out there? Tell everybody hi! Come, tell everybody hi! 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 Iris the director, terrific! Iris is terrific yeah, director! Yeah, okay, yeah. big shaka to Iris! Hey, guess what? This lady here is an amazing person. No, 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 she's okay. Yeah, she's, she's still working a bit. Are you still working? I'm volunteering. Are you volunteering? I do taxes. Oh, you do taxes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Volunteering? Yeah, and volunteering. Oh, man, she's she always doing something for others. Okay, give the big shaka to taxes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what? The prettiest lady in town over here. You got a special message for you. Love your kimchi. Love your kimchi. Okay, big shot to the kimchi. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guess what, man? They're not seniors. I think they look too young. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, what do you want to tell everyone out there? We love KTA. Yep, you do. We go to KTA for sure. Yep. Okay, big shot to the KTA. Yeah. Yeah. And and yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what, man? Retired police officer right <laughs> over here. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I bet you missed your coffee. <laughs> Hey, what do you want to tell everyone out there? Hey, shock everybody. Hey, shock everybody. Awesome. Hey, guess what, man? Pretty senior in town. What do you want to tell everyone out there? Shaka for Uncle Derek because he always likes shaka. Ah, yeah, hey, shaka. Jesus. Woo! Ah. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Hey, man. Guess what? So, so you're at the senior center, huh? You you took all kinds of classes here, right? Five days a week. I know. Five days a week. Okay, let's see. Come on, the center. Big chaka. Okay, awesome. Okay, ladies, you guys come to the senior center often? Yes. How oh, how often? Four times a week. Four times a week. <laughs> yeah. And you? That's my first time. First time. Okay. So what? Do you have any message out there for anybody? Come and join us at this uh, I'm on a senior center. Oh, come join us. Okay, big shaka. Hey, guess what? We get some special messages from my special senior friends. What do you want to say? Love you, love you, love you. And you? Um, join us here. Come on, Ascent. Okay. Give the big shaka. <laughs> hey, guess what, man? Special message from my senior friend. What do you want to tell everyone out there? I'm going to start shopping at KTA. Awesome. Big shaka. Hey, guess what? The lady that never ages, Amy Hamani. Amy Hamani, you got a special message out there? Um, I love your Korean chicken. Love the Korean chicken. Big yes. chaka to the Korean chicken. <laughs> hey, guess what? Naomi bought the only one, a famous dietitian, Hilo. Hey, so, any words out there? Help support the seniors. Help support the seniors, big chaka. <laughs> now, here's my birthday girlfriend. Hey, any message out there? Yes. I enjoy coming to the senior center to get camaraderie right away with all the seniors. Awesome! A hey, big shock to all the seniors. Ah. Hey, guess what? Long time no see senior. What do you wanna what do you wanna see out there? Special message. Come join us at, at Kamana and at KTA. Awesome, Thank big you. shaka, big shaka! Okay, two young girls over here. What do you guys wanna tell everyone out there? Oh well, Derek is the best. Yeah. No big suck of me then, okay? Awesome. Hey, guess what, man? That most beautiful lady there. She's not at the senior center yet. She's still working here at the mayor's office. Hey, hey come on, man. You can cook, man. Unbelievable. Are you, where you learn how to cook? Your mom. Thank you, mom. Big shaka to all the mothers. Awesome. Hey, here's my beautiful manang. She can cook the most unbelievable Filipino food. But who's the fancy chef? The man in the pen. Okay, big shaka the man in the pen. Awesome. Hey, guess what? The greatest ukulele player, the unbelievable John. Hey, hey who's, the 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 who's the fastest? Who's the fastest? Who's the fastest chef? The man in the pen. <laughs> in man and the, the pen. pen. Awesome, big shaka. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? What, what kind of craft you have going there? We're making our lomi lomi stick. Lomi lomi stick! Awesome! Big shaka to lomi lomi stick. Okay, awesome. Hey, guess what? What are you making here? 
You're a walking stick here, I'm making. Oh, you're a walking stick. You sure it's not for hitting me? Uh, maybe. <laughs> okay, big shock on a walking stick. Okay. <laughs> hey, guess what? Here's my special friend. You got any special message for anyone out there? Hi, I think Hawaii County is the best senior citizen activity program. Awesome! Big shock up to Hawaii County. <laughs> Hey, Linda, happy birthday! Big Shaka! Big Shaka, go Linda, everybody! <laughs> hey, guess what? Pretty lady here in Waimea. Hey, give everybody a Shaka. Come on, come on. Awesome. Hey, so what? You think I should come over here at school? Yeah! Huh? Go oh, home here. Oh, I'm going to stop you, yes. <laughs> okay, give oh. me Shaka. Everybody. Oh, Shaka, bro. Awesome. Wait for the next cooking class. Awesome. <laughs> Hey, guess what, man? The two young guys down here in Waimea. Hey, yeah. what did I tell everybody out there? Shaka. 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 That's the one, Shaka. Hey, guess what? The young lady, big Shaka. Hey, guess what? She got twin sons, right? Who's there? Andrew and Peter. Okay, Andrew and Peter. This is birthday today, March 12th, right? That's correct. Okay, big Shaka to them. Awesome. Hey, guess what? Man, why me a pole over here, right? Eh? Yeah, eh? yeah. Freezing. Even yeah. though get sun for it. Even though get sun for it's cold, so I'm gonna give big shot to the sun in the cold. Awesome. Hey, hey, guess what? Two beautiful ladies there. What do you wanna tell? What do you wanna tell oh, them? Oh, you're so awesome. And you still look young. All right, <laughs> young lady. Do you see anything out there? Okay. We love kids. And I love all of you ladies. Big shaka to everybody. Come on, come on, come on. Shaka. Hey, guess who I see here, man, in Honolulu? Jake, man, he's just cruising around. So, Jake, <laughs> what do you tell everybody in Hilo? Hey, aloha. Hope to uh, come out there soon, okay. visit you. Okay. Pick up my, my favorite goodies from okay. KT. Oh, you're the man. Oh, that's okay. my favorite spot. Big shaka. All right, aloha. Hey, hey, here's the junk that we're talking about. Hey, <laughs> you tell me about Hawaii Island. Aloha, everyone. Okay. Please come and visit us. Queen Kapiolani Hotel. Awesome. <laughs> hey, big whip general manager here. Hey, we're all proud of you, John. We're all Thank proud you. of you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Aloha. <laughs> awesome. Aloha. Hey, 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 Kim. You got a friend on Big Island. What do you want to what do we tell you about on the Big Island? Hi, Christy. If you're watching this. <laughs> hey, who else you want to tell hello to? Everybody else? Everybody on Big Island. Okay, I'm Big Big Island. Okay, Big Shaka. <laughs> Guess what? You keep over here. Aloha Friday. Right. Even on the Big Island where the Merry Monarch is going to be for 20, 24. Wow, awesome. Hey, Big Shaka. Keep on Big Shaka. Hey, the man right over here. Aloha Friday. Hey, right we right the man. We the <laughs> man. <laughs> Hey, guess what, man? I got my friend to introduce yourself to oh, everyone here. I'm Reynolds, and uh, this is Brenda, and this is June. Wow. Canada. You guys are from Canada? From Canada. Yeah. Come on, tell us. From tell, tell, Canada, yes. Tell Love everybody in, in Hawaii. In Hawaii. Give them a message. Come on. Many uh, blessings and thanks for your aloha. Mahalo. Okay, big shout out to everybody. Come on, come on. All the best. Take care. Yes. <laughs> Hey, guess what? A newlywed guy over here coming by fishing. We got a wedding party tonight, right? Yes, yeah, Saturday actually. Oh, are you okay? What you what you tell your bride? Yo, you what you tell? What do you want to tell your wife? Lucky guy I am. You're a lucky guy. Deeply lucky guy. Okay, yeah. give your give your wife a shot. Awesome. Hey, guess what, man? I check her out. She's in the car, eh? Full of life. What are you telling me hey, about out there? We get the whole back, the whole car full. With KTA goods. Okay. Because that's the best. Okay. No place be KTA. They get all the kind of food you like. All the ono kind. You know, you get the Japanese, you get the Korean, you get the Mexican. Every single race. They're not prejudiced. Then they they get everything of every race, color, skin, everything. All the ono grinds go there. They're the bestest in the way. And we get good looking customers like this. Okay, hey, let's give everyone a shaka. So that's it for Behind the Camera. I want to remind everyone to stay healthy, stay safe.
And thank you for watching Seniors Living in Paradise. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Aloha.